I just thought I was gonna make a little documentary on video to kind of address this parking brake not releasing issue that's uh, <clears throat> kind of well known. Read about it on the internet, and Facebook, the can -Am forums here and there. Uh, basically what happens is you press the parking brake release button and it won't release and you're stuck there. <clears throat> and what bothers me the most about that is, you know, I had this happen about six, seven, eight months ago. It happened a couple times, then it kind of went away. Well, it returned last Friday. And I've been having this issue ever since. Uh, <clears throat> you call the dealers, you know, I managed to find one. I can get it diagnosed in just a few days, but then I gotta turn around and go back and get the parts put on because they don't carry it in the stock. Well. What if I'm in Idaho, Montana, Colorado, Wyoming? You know, I am some ways from the house. Sure, I can disconnect that parking brake and I can make it back home. But to me, not being able to set the parking brake is a hazard. Well, if you can't get an appointment to get it diagnosed, you know, within a day or so, <laughs> you've lost some of your valuable time that you intended to be out there on the road. And then, not only that, but the part's not there. How long do you have to wait to get the part in stock so you can get it fixed? A uh, good example of this, one dealer said it'd be July 15th before they could get me in to diagnose it. How long is it gonna take him to get the part? Uh, I'd be sitting still for two months. So I decided to make this little documentary on here, uh, kind of show what's going on, what I had to do to get the parking brake released and then this Saturday I'm gonna be in Denton Texas and we're gonna get it diagnosed uh, it may or may not be acting up when I get down there we'll just have to see then we'll have to see how long it takes to get the parts in and when I can get the appointment to get it repaired this is all under warranty by the way starting this past Friday the uh, parking brake on my 2018 can MRT limited start sticking now i had this happen before uh last year uh, it stuck uh, then uh oh i don't know about two weeks later it came off on its own that first time it stuck about two weeks later i was coming back from uh, colorado and wyoming and got to uh laverne oklahoma and it stuck on me again uh, all I did that day was pull the uh, brake fluid cap off and uh, take a look at it. Didn't add nothing, anything like that. Put it back on, voila, it released. Uh, the first time it did it, uh, I'd had the battery tender on it for a few hours, started it up. Uh, never would release that day. The next morning I went out there, had the battery tender on it all night long. And it released. <laughs> Didn't do it again for those about two weeks. Then uh, starting <clears throat> Friday, three days ago, it done it on a uh, short trip I was making. Uh, <clears throat> I pulled over to take a phone call in a parking area alongside the highway. And when I got ready to leave, <laughs> it wouldn't release. Turned it off, left it off for a few minutes, it released. Uh, then the next day I went by the car wash. It wouldn't release, sat there a few minutes. <clears throat> wouldn't release, sat there a few minutes more, it wouldn't release. Finally I got the 12 millimeter wrench out and released it manually. Then uh, yesterday I uh, went to uh, pick something up. Uh, and see, after after it released manually uh, <clears throat> on Saturday, I get about 200 yards down the road, and uh, the beeping stopped. The light went off. So when I got to the house, I uh, hooked it back up, and it was working fine. So then yesterday, I went to pick something up, get over there, and lock up again. <clears throat> well minute later, it unlocked. Get to the house, 
Prior out, so far, it hadn't unlocked. I'm gonna start it up this morning and see what it does. Then, if it don't clear up, I'm gonna put the battery tender on it and I'm gonna see what happens. Cause I read something somewhere where uh, uh, the voltage required to make that motor work was something like 12.7 volts. And if the battery is below that, you can still start the spider, but it would not release the parking brake. I'm gonna go ahead and start it up. Been having some a lot of rain here past week or so in Oklahoma. Uh, the other day, I was on a little short trip. I keep an eye on water with the uh, radar scope application. And, uh, storms this year have been going more south, southeasterly instead of northeasterly. And it's one storm kind of ahead of me traveling southeast as I was going west. Uh, I just barely got sprinkled on. But uh, we had an EF1 tornado out of that storm down at Bowie, Texas. Okay, I'm going to see what it does. Okay, so see it's flashing on right now. Turn the key off. You don't have <clears throat> the beeping sound that's normally associated uh, if you don't have the parking brake on when you kill it. So that means that it is actuated. Now one thing to note when I do this, I'm going to turn the key back on. Okay. okay. Note that you don't hear the parking brake motor engage. Usually I'm used to hearing a little bit of a sound. And if you have your foot on a foot lever, you'll feel it relieve some pressure. Uh, spring loaded pressure back on you. Now, this time it's beeping. When it does that, it's like the parking brake is not engaged. You just gotta let it go until the beeping stops. Okay, so I have my battery tender hooked up. I'm gonna let it run. I gotta work till 3 p.m. today. It's probably, oh, I don't know, about 10.30 a.m. So I'm gonna let it charge for about four and a half hours and I'm gonna see what happens. So I've had the trickle charger going on the Can-Am Spider for just short of five hours now. And what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna <clears throat> fire it up and I'm gonna see if the parking brake will release. The reason being is I read somewhere one time, uh, it takes like 12.7 volts to actuate that parking brake uh, to either kick it in or release it. So we're going to see if putting a trickle charger on it does the trick. Get that voltage on that battery on up there. Starter up here. Well, uh, okay, let's the right blue release.
Okay, so now I'm going to kill it. See if it beats. Yep. So that, what that tells you is the parking brake was not engaged. It's still flashing now. I've read a lot about this and several theories as to why. Uh, <coughs> called the dealer nearest to me. It would get, take three weeks before I can get it in and get it diagnosed. And then they won't order parts until they've diagnosed it. Uh, <coughs> this would be under warranty though. Okay, I've been dealing with parking brake not releasing issue that uh, seems to be a monon issue uh, with the uh, Can-Am Spiders. Uh, mine's a 2018 RT. There are other models and years that are affected by this same issue. The issue being when it's time to release the parking brake, it won't release. The light starts flashing. Right now it's solid. Okay. Just press the mode button. For the sake of it, I'm going to go ahead and start it. Okay, so now I'm going to release the parking brake. The light starts flashing. So now when you turn the key off, it starts beeping at you. And this will continue for a number of moments. Now you can go down and you get your 12 millimeter wrench and you can Let's disconnect the parking brake down there and it'll release. Uh, what I'm going to do next, I've read this before. We'll go down here to the battery compartment and I am going to disconnect the hot wire and leave it disconnected. Now I'm on my lunch break at work and leave it disconnected for a little bit, connect it back up and see if it resolves this issue. Okay, so just a little recap on this brake issue thing. <clears throat> About six months ago, uh, a little bit longer than that, uh, I was fixing to go for a ride one evening. Went out there, started the spider up, parking brake wouldn't release. Tried a few things, still wouldn't release. Uh, I gave up that evening. Next morning I got up, went out there, started up again, no parking brake released. I had studied the night before things to do, didn't have to do nothing. Well, about two weeks later, I'm coming back from Colorado. I get to Laverne, Oklahoma, pull in a gas station, get gas, and then park it over by the building. It released when I moved from the gas pump to the building. I come back out a few minutes later, wouldn't release. The only thing I did that day was raise the seat, pull the brake reservoir cover, check the fluid, looks good, put the cover back on, tried it again, it released. Hadn't done that again until this past Friday. Today's Wednesday. Uh, it done it. I sat there a few minutes, tried it again. It unlocked. I released the brake. Next day, I go to car wash. Done washing it. Started up. Hit the release button. Wouldn't release. Uh, 
tried it several times, it never would release. I mean, turning the key off, waiting a few minutes, doing this, doing that, check the brake fluid, never would release. I disconnected the uh, parking brake cable down there by the back wheel and head for the house. Uh, <clears throat> about a minute later, the beeping stopped. Well, whenever I got to the house, I went ahead and connected the cable again Engage the parking brake, released the parking brake, engaged it, released it, engaged it, released it. The next day, I get on it, run down to Arby's down here, and uh, guess what? It uh, done the same thing. Well, I sat there a few minutes, get released, and get back here. That was Sunday, and I've come out here every day and tried to get it released. I put a battery charger on it. I've checked the brake fluid level. I've, you know, waited for it to stop beeping when I turn the key off, turn it back on. Uh, I've disconnected the battery for up to three hours this time. This parking brake will not release. Okay, so here's the main issue I'm having today in regards to this. I called the dealer at Chickasha, Oklahoma. It'll be three weeks before they can get it in and diagnose this. I called the dealer that I bought the Can-Am from, uh, Lewis Power Sports, Greenville, Texas. Their next appointment is July 15th. That's right at 50 days from today. Called the dealer at Denton, Texas. Well, they got an appointment this Saturday. So I'll be down there this Saturday. Well, I got to ride it down there. Now, I could have somebody pick me up and give me a ride back home. If I don't, then I got to ride back to the house and ride back down there again. You're looking at probably 240 miles anyway without a parking brake from my house. And then, you know, whatever day they get the parts in, I'll have to make an appointment to get that done. Well... Who knows when they're going to have an appointment. So that means, really and truthfully, I'm without my Can-Am Spider operating in the way it should safely because I don't have no parking brake. Uh, this is a known issue. You see a lot about, a lot about it on the Internet, Facebook. Uh, I've seen a YouTube video on it. I've seen on the forums about it. Uh, since this is a known issue, why don't they keep uh, the uh, parking brake motor, or I've heard it could be the uh, handlebar controls as well. I've actually heard where it's the switch as well. I've actually read on some internet forums about the Can-Am where it's a defective switch. This button here, this control is defective, and they have to replace it. Either that or, in most cases, it's the parking brake motor. Nonetheless, as a Can-Am customer, I'm not quite pleased about this. As a BRP stockholder, uh, I'm irritated. Uh, I called customer service about the matter, and it's, no oh, well, these are independent dealers. They don't have to stock the part. Now, I can understand going down there and diagnosing it. It takes them a couple days to get the part on. That's fine, but they should have the parts in stock since it's a known issue. So in order to do this, a couple of things I gotta do here is the spring is remove it. Just leave her hanging there. Then on up here, I got to uh, take a 12 millimeter wrench and back this off. Okay, now, lever right there, 
that released right here that is the parking brake that's been released okay once you got that done you can put the cable back in place Now, that's after you get the brake released. Okay, so now the parking brake is released so you can go. Uh, take that spring, put it up somewhere. You will need it later. Uh, I've heard some people say you need to uh, take a zip tie or something and make sure that cable will stay there. Uh, I don't see where it's going to go anywhere right here. It's tight. Uh, it will need to be put back in place. Uh, you know, once the parking brake issue has been fixed. Now, the other day when I did this at the car wash, uh, I went maybe 200 yards, the beeping had stopped, the light had went off. When I got to the house, I put the parking brake cable back in place, the spring back in place and everything. And it, you know, engaged it, released it, engaged it, released it, messed around with it for a little bit. I thought it was fine till the next day, once again, when I wrote it somewhere. So now that I've done everything I possibly know how uh, to get that parking brake to release on my 2018 Can-Am RT. I am going to uh, manually release it by uh, backing off the uh, cable. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the spider in gear. I'm gonna back out of the garage here. You notice the parking brake light is still on. I am going to back up out of the garage. You notice that beeper still beeping? Okay, the beeper stopped. Go ride around for a minute and see if that brake light goes off just like I did the other day after I left the car wash. Okay, I probably didn't go maybe 150 foot. The lights off now, the beeping stop, the parking brake is released. So, what's going on here? I'd be willing to bet 20 bucks that uh, I hook it back up. Probably. Engage, release, engage, release. But the next time I decide to go somewhere, I'm going to have to contend with this issue again. Back in the garage now. Uh, I'm going to kill it. I'm not going to engage the parking brake. It's in uh, first gear. I'm just going to leave it like that, and then I'm going to scotch the wheels. And, of course, because you did not set the parking brake, you're going to have to to contend with this beeping noise for a minute. Okay, so I went ahead and put everything back together like it should be. And the wheel's scotched. Uh, it's very possible when I get down to Denton, Texas, 12 o'clock noon on Saturday, let's see, that'll be the 30th of May, 2020, that I'm not even having that issue with the parking brake not releasing. I'm not gonna set it between now and then, uh, unless it's surely by accident. But uh, I got plenty of video to prove I've been having this issue. For the sake of it, I want you to notice, even though I put it in gear, I can roll the uh, can out. So that's why you need to go and scotch those wheels. 